welcome to Sunday Morning Alive, your weekly recap of news and current events from WCC. I'm Kayla, and here's Randy, and here are today's top stories. For anyone who hadn't noticed already, we've had a speaker system installed in our auditorium. It's sort of a head-scratcher, considering that at any given point, you aren't more than 10 feet from the person doing the speaking. Was it done for the hard of hearing? Excuse me? <laughs> Anyway, technology continues to play a major role in our time together on Sunday morning. Mike Gregory and Heath Holt are frequent iPad users. They take notes and make announcements. Mike Ferguson uses a pitch pipe app on his phone. We have lots of people that have switched to smartphone Bibles instead of the traditional leather-bound versions. But meanwhile, our songbooks are falling apart, and B.J. DeBoer's pitch pipe only works about half the time. Perhaps it's time to become a fully digital church. Valentine's Day was last week, and while many of our married couples were wooing the night away with each other, one of our UT representatives, whose name we'll keep private, wrote this on Twitter. It said, date with a laundry room in chemistry. Hashtag true love. So if anyone in the Knoxville area is single and ready to mingle, send me your digits and I will pass along to our esteemed colleague whose name we will not mention. <laughs> Last week, Mark Willoughby delivered what he said would be a very brief message, which turned into an actually long sermon. We all thought this problem was specific to Mike Rosser, but perhaps that's not the case. Sunday Morning Alive plans to launch a full investigation into the WCC sermon time continuum to try to track down this source of this unnecessary lengthy talks. Billy Buselmeyer made another appearance this week at WCC. While he claims he came back to celebrate his upcoming nuptials with his brother and their friends, we have it on good authority that he was actually making an attempt to buy back his lost love, the Billy Booger. Sadly, he was unsuccessful. <laughs> Mike Ferguson sent out an alarming tweet this week. In this tweet, he said that he doesn't understand people who wear sweatpants in public. <laughs> We would like to announce here at Sunday Morning Live that the views held by Mr. Ferguson, as well as the contents of any and all of his tweets, do not represent the beliefs held by this experienced and extremely professional news team. And now at the top five social media moments, here's Kara and Caroline. I'm Kara. And I'm Caroline. And this is this week's top five social media moments. Brian Harris tweeted, One important thing to bring on a multi-day road trip. Underwear. Hashtag whoops. Hashtag riding dirty. That's pretty gross, Brian. A quick weather update this Sunday. One weather model gives us eight inches of snow for today, while another has less than one inch. Something doesn't add up here. We haven't had eight inches of snow here in the last eight years combined. After seeing this post to Facebook, it would seem Diane Frazier needs lessons on how to text on a smartphone. Brent Rinjo tweeted, I need some layup drills. Poor Brent. A layup is the easiest thing to do in basketball. He should probably just stick to nursing. And finally, our own Kayla Frazier graduated yet again last Wednesday. Maybe she'll actually get a big girl job since she's been working at Sonic for six years. David Windrow was missing last week. Word on the street that he was at the National Fire Academy. Apparently they're working on some groundbreaking new research that shows when you spray fire with water, it goes out. Oh, this just in. A picture has surfaced of some of the founding members of WCC. We have had to censor parts of the pictures for our younger viewing audience. There are so many winning moments, I don't know where to begin. We have Rory of the music group, Joey and Rory, without overalls. <laughs> A young, very bearded Mike Gregory, and Mike Rosser with color in his hair. And now, with the head scratchiness stories of the week, here's Devin and Kayla with Really? A shocking tweet appeared on the Twitter feed this week, and we all learned that our own Brian Harris forgot to pack underwear for his weekend getaway. Really? He actually forgot to pack underwear? Yes, he forgot underwear. I hope it wasn't a romantic getaway. Hard to be romantic when you're rocking dirty trousers. Ugh. Ugh. 
But really, of all things to forget, your underwear? I mean, I've heard of forgetting a toothbrush. But underwear? Really? Really. You didn't think to double check before that final zip up and make sure you had all the necessities? Come on, man. But really, how much do you want to bet he remembered his iPhone and all things related to it? <laughs> When we asked Brian to comment on this unfortunate situation, he stated, I remember to lay them out on my bed, I just didn't remember to pack them. Really? Well, guess what, Brian? Thinking about packing them isn't the same as actually packing them. Yeah, really. He closed out his tweet with hashtag riding dirty and hashtag TMI. Yeah, Brian, we're here to tell you that that really is way too much info. And that's all from the news desk this week. Signing off, we'll see you at the next appointed time.